Hey there everyone, Bob Martin, the RC sub guy with the NautilusDryDocks.com and I want to talk to you uh, about a potential alternative to a Y splitter. So if you've got two functions that need to be split off of the same channel, so for example a ballast system that has an air pump and a, a servo, traditionally you would use a, a Y splitter and that looks something like this. That's this little sucker right here. So it takes a single input and splits it into two different directions. This is what it looks like in operation. You adjust your one output and both of the servos work in conjunction with each other. Now, that's fine. It works well. You can get these commercially and they're really cheap and effective, but they take up a lot of room. If you've got a small cylinder, this is a lot of extra cable that you don't need. So I want to show you what Ken Drews came up with and uh, sent to me uh, some examples. So let's take a closer look at what he came up with. So this little bad boy is what replaces this entire mass of cable. Um, all this is is basically uh, some header board with uh, a little bit of prototype circuit board on the back covered with a little piece of styrene to make sure that nothing shorts out. Um, it's really quite slick and the idea behind it if you take a look at this is that the pins are all soldered common so all the signals are common all of the power is common and all of the ground is common. So they all share those uh, outputs together. Uh, and then on the back of it, he made a, uh, a couple of lines to show you the correct orientation of the pins, the servo pins. So you would want to, for example, with this one right here, make that servo pin align with the line to make sure that you don't short anything out. So in practical application, what this would look like, it doesn't even matter what direction or polarity you uh, hook these up so long as they're all the same. So we'll plug in one servo, another servo, and then the output from the servo tester. Now in order to use this, you actually need a like mail by mail extension to go from your receiver into this Y splitter. So I just happen to have one made up here, a little shorty, and uh, we'll go ahead and plug this in. And now you can see it does the same thing as that Y splitter, but it's a nice tidy package, doesn't take up any room in your cylinder, uh, just that little unit. And then a, a little short mail by mail adapter to go from the receiver into the splitter unit itself. Now, Ken's done a really good job doing up a little Y cable replacement sheet. And I'm gonna post this up on my website and I'll put the link in this description so you guys can take a look at it. But basically it's, uh, talks to you about the uh, what you need, how to do it, where to get the parts, and what the finished product should look like. So um, not you know something that perhaps is commonly needed, but when you do need it, and this was specific application uh, where room is a priority, this solution is one for you to consider. So again, big shout out to Ken Drews who uh, sent all of this to me along with some little prototype boards. Uh, hopefully you find this of use. Uh, if you like what you see here, like and subscribe. It helps me a lot. Questions and comments below. Email me anytime, bob at nautilusdrydocks.com and uh, have a great day. We'll catch you later.